In fact, as I ask God questions, I immediately uh, let go of the question, in a sense, and I just begin to go right back into a posture of rest and worshiping the Son of God. Now, why is that so important? Because that place is really the platform for the presence of the Lord to speak to you, to encourage you, to show you scriptures. It's in that place of rest that you develop that sensitivity that that's the Lord speaking to you. All right, so I stay in a posture of rest, and I begin to enjoy God's presence until he speaks to me. Now, you guys have already discovered this. Sometimes in your prayer life, you ask the Lord a question, and he doesn't immediately respond, but as you're worshiping him throughout the week, he does answer. You're driving along, and he, he goes, remember that question, and then he gives you a scripture. Wow, that's the answer. Or there's some radio broadcast, and he speaks to you out of that. Or someone walks up to you and goes, I don't know why I'm supposed to give you this. The Lord told me to give you this book, and you're going, my gosh, that's what I just prayed about earlier this week. So now God has many different ways he can answer. You're supposed to enjoy him until he answers. Isn't that better? Instead of being frustrated all the time. I don't know if you guys are like that, but most people that really want to hear the voice of the Lord, they shut down the enjoyment of it by getting mad at the Lord because he's not doing it on their timetable. Now that's based on Americanism, isn't it? Uh, just like today, I drove through a drive through window and I got upset because I waited more than five seconds for them to say, what do you want? <laughs> Do you guys ever get frustrated by that? And then you yell the order, and the, the, the scraggly thing answers back, well, sometimes not, and you go, and whatever, yes. And then you get up there, and they don't give you what you asked for. Well, we've been trained to have immediate response by things. Well, the kingdom of God works a little differently than that. God, when he speaks, is working on what's the best for you in that situation. And it might not be immediately. Maybe you just need to enjoy his presence for a while. Uh, in fact, I'll just tell you this one. Uh, also, progressively seek his answer until he speaks. Now, one time, I was pressing the Lord for an answer, and, and I mean pressing. Lord, I really need to have an answer to this. And he wasn't talking to me. Have you guys ever had that experience? I know that you guys probably hear more than I do here in Colorado. So have you ever had to ask the Lord, and, and he just didn't answer a question for you? Well, I, I was asking him a question, and the Lord came back to me, and the way he responded, it wasn't what I thought he'd say. He, he answered, Brian, I'm not going to tell you. And I went, why? He goes, because you've turned me into the internet. And I go, I, I, I don't get it. He goes, now you, you've taken the relationship, you've learned how to hear from me, and now all you want is information for your own benefit, and you've lost relationship. And so I'm not going to speak to you about what you want to know until you draw back into relationship with me. Is that incredible? So the focus of hearing God's voice, you know, we want the benefits of it, but the focus actually is relationship, isn't it? God is looking for that with you. All right, let's move on. Turn your page and let's look at some more notes here. Now, when God starts speaking, you're going to find in the early stages of doing this, you, you can't tell if it's the voice of the Lord, your imagination, or the voice of the enemy. And so the scripture actually gives us some insight on what to do with that. There's an Old Testament prophet named Habakkuk. And I have it on your notes right here, Habakkuk 2, chapter, uh, chapter 2, verse 2. And it tells us some insights on doing, what, doing something with the voice of the Lord. It says this, Then the Lord replied, Write down the revelation and make it plain on a tablet so the herald may run with it. For the revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks of an end and will not prove false. Though it lingers, wait for it. It will certainly come and will not delay. Now, it's very important. The word revelation here is, the, if, the simplest way I can translate this for you is this. Revelation means God speaking. Right? It's different than just reading something out of a book. It's literally God speaking to you. So it's saying when God speaks, write it down. Okay? And in the process of praying and talking to the Lord, you need to write down whether you know if it's the Lord or not, because in that process, you'll start discovering the voice of the Lord. Now, I'll give you some more insight on it, but God really wants you to write it down because God is going to speak promises to you that you really didn't think were promises when he first spoke them, and there are things that will actually give you life and, and help you fight a good fight of faith down the road. So you